Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In this episode, we are going to talk about WordPress Commons. So comments are uh, one of the crucial parts of your theme development because comments allow your users, your readers to express their views, their thoughts and opinions. So in this video, we're going to learn how to add the comment support for your WordPress theme. WordPress displays comments in your theme based on what code you write in the comments.php file within your WordPress theme, which means if you'd like your theme to support comments, all you have to do is go to the theme's root directory. So let's say this is my theme, Aquila. Inside of the root directory, I will create a file called comments.php. Now let's look at the WordPress documentation to understand what is expected to be written inside of this file called comments.php. So if you go to developer.wordpress.org, uh, you will see this is the documentation for comments. And uh, they have given an example of a comments.php file. So let's take a look. So here is the example and uh, this is the code. So I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to paste that here. And I'm just going to make some updates. For example, my packages are actually uh, Aquila and I don't need all of this. Okay. Now let's try to understand from the top as to what this is and how this thing works. Okay, so we have a breakdown of the comments.php file where the first thing is the template header. So we look at the template header. This is nothing but just the information about this template that this template is for displaying comments, area of the page that contains comments and the comment form. Okay, so there are two things we need to display over here. First is the comments and second is the comment form. So the comments are the actual comments which were posted earlier and comment form allows the users to post new comments. Okay. Now, next thing is the comment title, right? Then the next thing we need to test is whether the post is password protected or not. So if you take a look, we have this condition here. This function basically checks if the post is password protected or not. If it is password protected, then we don't want to show it to the, uh, to everyone. Uh, in order for you to view the post, you would require to put your password for that particular post. So you do, so you do an early return because I don't want to proceed further in case if this post is password protected. Okay. The next thing we check to see if there are comments associated with this post. So basically you have this function which checks if the comments are available for this particular post. And if there are, that's when we'll start adding the comment title. So we use the printf function. So we use the printf function of PHP, which basically uh, is going to print. So we are using this uh, underscore nx function, which basically translates and retrieves singular or plural form based on the supplied number with the get context. Okay, so this will allow us to use either one thought or whatever that number is like two, if there are two comments, then two thoughts on, on the title. Okay. Uh, so let me, all right. Uh, this function basically gets the comment number. All right. Now in order for, now before we continue further, I want to actually sh start showing you how this looks in front end also as we progress along. So it'll be better to use this template. So in order for you to display this template, what you need to do is you need to call a function inside of your single.php and this function is called comments template. Okay, so you need to call this function basically which is called comments template and this function will automatically go ahead and pick up comments.php file and it'll go ahead and display your comments wherever you call this function on the single.php. So I'm calling it beneath our uh, content for that particular post. So you can see this is the, the post content and um, I'm calling it beneath that. Okay, so I'll explain to you how this actually um, uses this file. I'll, we'll look at the WordPress code in a moment, but just to let you know this, that we do need to call this function if you would like our comments to be displayed, if you would like WordPress to use our comments.php file to display the comments and the comment form, okay? 
So if you go back and if you if you refresh, you will see that you have five thoughts on hello world and then you have different comments being shown in the chained format and threaded format. Okay, we will also discuss about how you can control the type of display, whether you want to show in a threaded way or non-threaded way, but we'll come to that, but we'll come back to that in a moment. Okay, so right now it's not styled because I haven't really styled it, but uh, you can see this is like a raw uh, markup for the comments where you have the chain format for, you have the threaded format of the comment and then you also have a comment form. So let's go over this one by one, looking at our comments.php file, which we just created. So you have one thought on, so here, uh, because there are more number of comments, more than one, that's why this is going to pick up this one and it's going to just replace this percentage $1 S with the comment number, which is five. So this is going to get you the number. It's going to replace that. So five and then thoughts on and then the title. Okay. Uh, so this is the context and domain. I think we should change it to ours, which is Aquila, right? Then you have the number format Internal internationalization that converts the float number to format based on the locale, right? Uh, and then you have the title of the post. So this title that you're looking at, this title is your hello world is coming from get the title, all right? Now, next thing is your comment itself. So you have WPLIS comments and this is responsible for listing down all your comments. So all the comments that you're looking at is actually being displayed by WPLIS comments, right? Um, you have your style type and you know, what type of tag you want to use. You have the short ping to set to true. You have the size so you can change its size. If I want to say 48, I can just refresh and you'll see that the avatar size, which is basically the, the user's image size is going to be changed to that size, whatever you mentioned here. So it's going to be 48 by 48. Okay. Uh, we'll get to this, this uh, function in a moment. Uh, but let's continue further. Then uh, we're going to check. <clears throat> get comments page count uh, is going to check if the page count is more than one. And this is actually for pagination. So if you go to your backend under settings and then discussion over here, these are your setting for the comments over here, other common settings, right? So besides allowing people to submit their comments, you also have other common setting. For instance, comment author must fill out the name and email. That's a mandatory or not. Users must be registered and logged into comment. Yes or not. If you don't, if you uncheck this, then uh, they will be able to post comments without having to log in or register or register. And then automatic close comments on post older than 14 days. Do you want to close comments that are that have post? older than 14 days with post older than 14 days. And so there are different settings basically, but uh, the one we are interested in that we're looking at is the get comments, comment pages count. So here you can see that you have this checkbox that says break comments into pages with 50 top level comments per page and the last page displayed by default. Okay. So if you check this, then uh, it's going to do the pagination. Now you can change this number. Let's say you want to show pagination after uh, 10, uh, 10 comments. Okay. Or, but for me, since I only have five comments, I want to just show you how that pagination looks like. So I'll just change it to two and I'll save it. So save changes. And now if you right now, you can see that all the comments are being displayed, all five of them. But because I just changed it, I'm saying display two comments per page. So display, so do a pagination and display two comments per page. So now if I refresh, you'll see that you have this older comment here. So you can click back and go to the previous comment page, right? So uh, that's what is checking over here, getting the page count. If a page count is greater than one, and it's also checking if the page comments option is set. So this uh, information that you see, the setting that you see over here, break comments in a page, that is actually stored into the options tables. That is stored into the options tables. So if you go to 
WP options table, this is where you'll be able to find this particular key. So take a look at, so if I do a search, option name like page comments, you can see that this is where that information is set, right? So option value is set, which means you have the page comments value being set for this. Okay. All right. So then you just have this navigation um, tag and then comment that says comment navigation. Of course, you'll have to change these text domains to yours. So I'll change them to Aquila. And here you have a previous navigation. The previous comments link is going to give, get the uh, older comments. So go back to the previous page. Next comment link will take us to the next comment page. And that is what is being displayed over here. If you just do an inspect element and just check it over here, you'll see that that's what we have, right? So you have navigation, comment, comment navigation, which is this guy right here. And then you have the comment navigation H1. And then we don't have a previous link right now because you're already on the first page. And then you have the next link over here. So that's how your comment navigation works over here. Then uh, in case if the comments are not open and uh, there are no comments available, then in that case, um, we just display a message saying comments are closed. And then finally you have the comment form. So comment form is responsible for adding this form that you're seeing here. So just leave and reply, edit your profile log out. All of these things are actually being displayed uh, through the comment form function. So this is a WordPress function that displays the comment form. Um, since I'm logged in, I'm getting all of these links, but if I ch open this in incognito mode, you'll see that this form now has your name, email address, website, etc., uh, in the comment form, and you don't have those links here. However, since you're already logged in, it's not going to ask you for your name and email address because it already knows what your name and email address is since you're logged in. Okay. So that's that. So that's basically how you display the comments. In, now in the next video, we're going to dig deeper and look at these functions as to how, how is actually WordPress understanding that it needs to display the comments? How is WordPress deciding uh, to pick up this particular file? Okay, so all of that information we'll learn in the next video, all right? So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Do star my repository to support my work. Thanks to all the beautiful 748 people who've already, who've already starred my repository. Let's take it to a thousand. And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is, my GitHub handle is Imran Ed Sayyad. And uh, do give super thanks and join the membership to support my work. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.